Welcome back to the Idle Engineer and the Beginning Boyer series. In this video, I'm building a couple of tools needed to finish tillering the bow started in the previous video. The tillering stick and string jigs are going to be prototypes for more permanent builds. First, the tillering stick. This tool has a two-fold purpose. First, it allows the general shaping of a bow as draw length is increased. Second, by mounting the stick on a bathroom scale, the draw weight can be maintained, allowing draw weight and length to be targeted. The tillering stick consists of a notch and slits at specified distances. Measured in inches from the lowest part of the notch, each slit represents draw length. After measuring out the center of the board and notching the top at 45 degree angles with a jigsaw, I cleaned up and chamfered the notch with a rasp. Next was cutting the slits. Without a better method available, I used the table saw. Not having a crosscut sled and dado stack, this meant many parallel cuts by hand. The depth of cut was kept as close to the center line as possible. This would allow the string to be pulled as vertically as possible without putting any additional torsion into the bow. After cleaning up the slits with the block plane, I attached two lengths of 2x2 two two to act as feet when using the stick on the scale. And make sure to really tighten down that chuck. The feet were kept as even and as close to the center line as possible. In addition, so the screws didn't interfere with each other, an offset pattern was used. After completing construction, I added length measurements to each corresponding slit. Now, onto the string jig. This jig is for assembly of continuous loop strings by holding loops of string at a specific length. First, the arms of each end are made to rotate when putting serving on each end of the string. Made of 2x2 two two and drilled out, these can rotate when the bolt is loosened. I measured out marks at 1 inch increments and drilled half inch holes to accept a bolt to allow length adjustments. Add a bolts with nuts near each end to secure loose ends of the string prior to serving. Next I measured out locations for the pins that would be supporting the string. In this case I'm using the largest nails we have in the shop and driven them 1 inch into the arms. To try to keep things even, I marked out one inch on each nail using a sharpie. Using washers on the nails was to prevent the string from sliding around. I tried securing the washers with solder since this was just a prototype. It worked but it was not ideal since I was trying to fill such a large gap. In future iterations, I'll try a different solution for the pins. Now that we have a jig, we can make a string. The tillering string is a long, heavy string used to get the bow from a stiff floor tillered state to the final draw length and weight, or at least as close until the final string can be attached. After adjusting the jig for length, I have the string material, string wax, and serving jig with serving thread ready to go. First, the loose end of the Brownells B50 Dacron is attached to the bolt and tightened. Then I begin wrapping around the pins. Trying for a 16 strand string, so that makes 8 times complete around the pins. I check to make sure that each side is even. Once the loops are made, I cut the string material and secure it with the other bolt. Now I can loosen and rotate the arms. This will be the first section of serving. Since the serving is held together with friction, the string wax adds additional grip for the thread. Being the first time making a string and using the jig, it took some time to find a rhythm and the right tension settings. The serving is making a type wrap over itself and the bowstring. To finish, a length is pulled from the jig. Making a loop and then folding the end under the loop a few wraps, these are transferred to the end of the serving by rotating the loop. Once the loose end is pulled tight, the serving is complete. To make the loops at the end of the string, another length of serving is applied over the end serving. With the end serving rotated with quarter inch offset, we can proceed as before wrapping serving thread to form end loops. This is the first string that I have made or even attempted, so I need a ton of practice. I found great information from the Boyer's Bible as well as the Backyard Boyer YouTube channel. 
Once the end loops were complete, I added a center serving section so the string could be used on the tillering stick more easily. Here's the string on the fiberglass pattern bow we have in the shop. Using the tillering stick, you can put a tension load on the bow and shape the limbs for even bend and twist. And on a bathroom scale, you can measure pull weight as you draw the string down. As the bow is conditioned to bend, you can leave the string at certain lengths. Now all the tools are built, we can till our bow completely. I hope you've enjoyed this beginning Boyer video. Subscribe for future videos from the Idle Engineer and follow us on Instagram for project updates.